This is the most commonly used terms by musicians, those who create music and fans, those who listen to the music. Lounge music, sundown music, trance music, electronic dance music, EDM, wherever you go, the fondness of a listener comes. When you are explaining that, dude, you want to listen to those beats, man. Like the kitsch, kitsch, kitsch. Whether it's hip hop or when you make a track, whatever it is. So the point is, right and wrong, right and wrong are the notions of beats in real world. What does that mean? It means that we are not very far off with what beat means. But we are wrong in understanding it. We are right in feeling it. Like if you say, what's up, what's beats? Beats like... That's beats. Metronomic accuracy, right? One, two, three, four, five. Now, if I ask you, so this is not wrong, huh? this is correct. Something periodically varying has to do with beats. I get it. But what's wrong or what's missing here is, what is periodically varying? Ah, good question. Uh, so the point is, the moment we say, so okay, let's say somebody is singing, somebody is singing a, what do you call, unplugged version, no guitar, no drums, nothing. You are just singing. If you, But if you are a trained singer, you will not sing just like that. You will not sing one line and then wait for five seconds and sing another line. No. Your inner beat is going on. Have, so have you seen singers, they tap their feet when they are singing even without music. Because the music is in their head. The metronomic variation is in their head. The metronomic periodicity is in their head. The constant variation of something with the definite time period interval is in their head. That's why the old school Indian classical musicians, they do the hand thing na? like this. One front, one back. One front, one back. Why? So beat has to do with periodicity. This much I am sure about. But what? That's the point. Let's start beats. Consider a typical C note from the piano maybe. The frequency is 264 hertz. Okay? What happens? Let the equation, let the equation of this note ka propagation is P1 equal to P0 sine omega 1. Please note here. Omega 1 of T minus X by V. Shines. Okay? So, frequency 1. Let's take another frequency. 270 hertz. Slightly different frequency. And the propagation equation is, let's say, P2 equal to P0 sine omega 2 T minus X by V. What is same? Sir, they have same p naughts. Can you notice? Yes, sir. But they have different omegas. Can you notice? Please notice the start thing. I know we have so far uh, always kept the omegas same and amplitudes different. Ulta. Keep the amplitude same, but omega is different. Let's see what happens. Okay. Well, the interference or the superposition does not uh, have a condition on equal uh, omegas. Superposition means you have to add them. Okay. Let's say these two are kept close together. Notice, what is omega 1 minus omega 2? Uh, I don't know what that is, but 264 and 270. That means I'm, I'm, I'm sure that the difference between them is quite less. Why is that important, sir? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. That the difference between the two omegas is very less as compared to both their values. Okay. I'll hold that thought. Let's interfere. Let's interfere. So P equal to what? Literally P1 plus P2. Fine. Sin C plus sin D. 2 sin C plus D by 2. Cos C minus D by 2. Right, sir. This is what it gives. Watch. What is delta omega? Delta omega is of course omega 1 minus omega 2. Doesn't matter whether it's a plus or a minus because it's a cos, even function. What is this omega? This omega is omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2. So the plus term is with sign and the cos. Sir, I have, I have noticed something. Sir, you have written the sign term after the cos term. Yes, with a purpose. Hold on. Hold on. Is this clear? Take your time. Sir, can you please show us, sir? Are Baba, Are Baba. P not common, right, sir? Two, right, sir? Sign, right, sir? Omega one, T minus X by V plus omega two, T minus X by V plus two. 
happy happy sir cause omega 1 t minus x by v minus omega 2 t minus x by v by 2 happy this thing comes out to be here and jaha pe you have omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2 you replace it by omega and omega 1 minus omega 2 you replace it by delta omega okay don't worry it's okay baba it will come again and again now what's important is what does it mean what you have is actually a wave equation don't you have another wave equation in which the omega, what used to be omega 1 and omega 2 for individual wave, it's omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2. So you have a resultant disturbance which is a wave of angular frequency omega, right. But what's the difference? Sir, the difference is that the participating waves had amplitudes P0. But this guy has amplitude A. Okay. What's so special about this amplitude? Sir, the problem is this amplitude is a function of t and x also but at a certain x it's a function of t at certain x take your time i'll repeat <clears throat> stop writing listen to me very closely stop writing stop writing. Shh, shh, shh. stop writing p1 the first wave what was the amplitude sir p0 was the amplitude constant right sir yes i know Omega t minus x by v blah blah blah. That's fine. But don't you think the amplitude was constant? Amplitude value was constant, Baba. Right. What about the P2 wala thing? Sir, that also P0. So their amplitudes were constants. Yes, they were waves. But amplitudes were constant. Is this guy a wave? Yes. How do you know that? Sir, it can be manipulated as a function of t minus x by v. So question number one, it's a wave. Right, sir. Question number two, what's the amplitude? Sir, the entire thing, including that cos thingy, is the amplitude. This one. This is the amplitude. Right, sir. What's so special? Sir, it's not P0. It is 2 P0 cos delta omega by 2 T minus X by V. That means even the amplitude is also variable. Got it. So far, are you okay with this? Thing? So far, we are okay, sir. Okay. Now what, sir? What happens because of this variable amplitude? Let's find out. So when you are adding the pressure values, obviously sometimes the constructive interference will happen, sometimes destructive. So let's say x is fixed. You have fixed the x. So only the amplitude variation part will be considered because the x is fixed, right, sir? So 2 P0 cos delta omega by 2 with time. How does that change with time? It goes between 2 P0 and minus 2 P0. That's fine because cos goes from plus 1 to minus 1. I don't have a problem with that. My problem is that let the sign omega t minus x y part separate. Okay? So B part variation is very simple, but the 2 P0 vary, uh, the pressure variation goes from 2 P0 to minus 2 P0. Right. But I want amplitude. So, sir, amplitude is say. Is there amplitude? No, it's not. Why? If I ask you uh, x equal to a sin omega t, what is the amplitude? So, a, correct. But I, it goes from where to where? It, so, it goes from plus a to minus a. But the amplitude is a, right? Because the amplitude is always positive. Achha, 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 achha. So, you are saying if this entire thing is amplitude, if this entire thing is amplitude, the cos value, this, this guy, the cos value is making it go from minus 1 to plus 1, giving it negative values also. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Got it, got it. Okay. Right now, can you please tell me, what is the frequency with which the cos function is varying? Angular frequency. Delta omega by 2, sir. Delta omega by 2. So, the cos function is making the amplitude. Hear me out. If you want to write this down, write down. Cos function is making the amplitude go from plus, sorry, cos function is making the pressure to go from 2p0 to minus 2p0. 
the cos function is making the pressure to go from plus 2 P naught to minus 2 P naught and this all happens with angular frequency delta omega by 2. But if I want to convert this variation into amplitude, I do, I'm not allowed to make it negative. That means I have to make sure only the positive version is done. So the frequency variation is delta omega by 4 pi. How? Because omega is 2 pi f, na? This frequency, this linear frequency variation is delta omega by 2 by 4 pi. But if you want to convert into amplitude, watch this, the mod part has come. And that would be how much? Delta omega by 4 pi into 2, double. Nice. Do you get this? I'll repeat. What's the frequency of total variation? Sir, frequency of total variation is uh, F. Let me call it F A, sir. F A is omega by 2 pi, sir. Omega star by 2 pi. Whatever is your omega, sir. Who plays omega? Sir, delta omega by 2 plays omega. So, delta omega by, that's delta omega by 4 pi. So far, it's clear? Sir, what is the frequency of amplitude? Right? What is the amplitude frequency? So, for amplitude frequency, you need what? Only positive stuff. So, sir, that would be delta omega, actually, delta omega by 2, yes, multiplied by 2, yes, upon 2 pi. And that would be delta omega by 2 pi. Watch this. Do you see what is happening? Yes, because the amplitude is always positive. Now, what is delta omega? Delta omega is omega 1 minus omega 2. And those are 2 pi f1s. So, f equal to omega 1, sir, 2 pi f1. Omega 2, sir, 2 pi f2, sir, mod, sir, upon 2 pi. Can I cancel all the 2 pi's? What do I have? Sir, I have frequency of amplitude variation as mod f1 minus f2. What is the frequency of amplitude variation? It is this. So what happens? Ready? I'll explain this again. Right now, what, what is it? Let's say two equal sounds are there. Two equal sounds can produce mute destructive interference and tong constructive interference. So what happens? When two sound sources are kept close to each other, their resultant goes from tong to zero. I'll repeat. When two sound sources are kept close to each other and you keep listening to them, yeah? so what happens is as the time progresses, you can listen tong, 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 zero, zero, tong, 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 tong. That means you hit a high note you go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, you go to zero. You hit a higher note. So this happens. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what's happening is the 10, the 10, the 10 is the maxima. The 0, the 0, the 0 is the minima. And the resultant sound which you are hearing is periodically varying with time and this, this periodical variation phenomena is called beat phenomena and this frequency of variation is called beat frequency. 